Hi guys, today we are going to talk about inheritance. Genetic inheritance boils down to the concept put forth by Gregor Mendel, who was a humble monk and a part-time scientist who founded the entire discipline of genetics. So, what did Mendel say? Mendel's first law states that the characteristics of an organism is determined by genes which occur in pairs, which is also known as alleles. Alleles are found at the same locus on homologous chromosomes. So, the homologous chromosome will separate or segregate during formation of gamete. And the process is known as meiosis. So after meiosis, gametes will only receive one of a pair of allele, which means that only one of a pair of alleles will be present in a single gamete. So remember, Mendel's first law states that characters are determined by alleles. Alleles will segregate during meiosis and each gamete will carry only one allele. Then, he came up with another law saying that different characters are determined by different genes at different locus. For example, you can see that there are actually two pairs of alleles, one for hair color and another one for height. And during the formation of gamete, these two pairs of allele will separate independently of each other. And this law is also known as Law of Independent Assortment. Okay? So remember, alleles separate independently of each other during the formation of gamete. And this will result in variations among the offspring for the survival of species. It means that, let's say, a black hair color doesn't necessarily have to follow short characteristics. Okay? Now, let's have a look at one example of how inheritance occur. For example, in humans, black eye color is dominant to blue eye color. So, what happens if a man with black eyes marries a woman with blue eyes? So, the questions that we are asking is that what are the genotypes and phenotypes of their children? Okay, now let's, before that, we need to know what is the genotype of the parents. Now, let's define the key term first. Now, let capital B be the allele for black eye. So the capital B is the dominant allele. Let small letter B be the allele of blue eye. So B, the small letter, is the recessive one. So what could be the genotype of father? Remember, in the previous video, we learned that dominant allele will show the effect either when it stands alone or it occurs in pair with another dominant allele. So the genotype of father could be homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant. So let's work on the possibility if the genotype of father is homozygous dominant. Remember, Mendel's first law says that gametes will only receive one of the allele. 
So the gamete produced by the father is capital B and for the mother is recessive B. Then during fertilization when two gametes form together there will be a heterozygous dominant and hence the phenotype of the offspring is black eye. Okay, so all the children will have black eye. Now the second possibility is that what if the genotype of father is heterozygous dominant which means capital B and small letter B. Now let's work on the possibility. First you write down the genotype of the parent. Father is capital B and small letter B. Mother is small letter B. So here the possible gamete produced by father would be the dominant allele, the one with dominant allele and another one with recessive allele. And after fertilization, you will get one heterozygous dominant and one homozygous recessive, which means 50% of the offspring will have black eyes and another 50% would have blue eyes. Okay. Thanks for watching.